MovieWeb.com. Gandhi said that whatever you do in life will be insignificant. Whoa! But it's very important that you do it. Officer, those two were just trying to stop it. Go home. Hey, 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 go. I tend to agree with the first part. You could do worse than have a father who bails you out of jail. I don't want to be bailed out of anything. Why do you think Dad doesn't want to spend time with me? She knows I'll take care of her. That's all there is, Tyler. That's all there is? Not enough. You know you can't smoke in here. Why, why do you have an ashtray? It's a bowl. It completes the room. I guess it was just here to tease me. You've been a ghost past couple weeks, all right? You never want to go out anymore. I had enough of this introvert stuff, OK? I'm ready to set an intervention here. This is such a powerful film. There's so many heady themes on here. Uh -huh. uh, love, loss, reconciliation. Talk about preparing for it as, a, as an actor and working as a producer as well on this movie. I mean, I keep having to like change this thing about the producer because I, I didn't, well, I wasn't like a proper producer. <laughs> like, I can't, I mean, I only, I only wanted to come on as a producer at the end so I could kind of, because it was a kind of odd tone, it was different to a lot of films and I was afraid that, you know, someone might try and cut it to make it more of a standard film and, and or market it as a, as a teen film or something when it's not really. Um, I mean, it's one of the weird things. I mean, Alan, the director, and Nick, the producer, gave me, uh, like, they consulted me for some reason on, like, so many different things. I mean, like, I was, I was let into a lot into the casting process and, and all the rewrites of the script. I mean, they, we, would all, we would always be doing conference calls, like, talking about everything. I mean, they, they would let me... They would, they, they would talk to me about everything, about the changes to the script, and which is amazing for an actor, you never get that. And But so, when we got into shooting, I mean, I felt like I'd have so much personal investment in, in the story that, you know, it was like we'd been rehearsing for like four or five months before, and so I, I felt like I kind of, like I really knew the guy, and I knew the story very intimately by the time it started. Um, you've got a, a couple of really powerful scenes with uh, two of my favorite actors, Chris Cooper and uh, mm -hmm. Pierce Brosnan, who plays your father. Um, the climactic blow-up between you and Pierce is just mm -hmm. a riveting scene to see in the okay. boardroom. Talk about shooting that scene and just working with him. Um, I mean, working with Pierce is great. He was kind of perfect for the part as well, because he has this he has this confidence about him, and, and uh, he's so comfortable in himself. It's perfect for Tyler to just just be trying to knock it out of him all the time. But I guess that scene, it's a strange scene because it's, it's a fairly sort of typical thing of adolescent kind of, you know, you really want to explode at your dad and when you finally feel like the time's right and I'm gonna, I know what I'm gonna say and I'm gonna explode you and all that comes out is like hysterical gibberish and, it's, and, and you can, every single thing that comes out of Tyler's mouth is just like, that's not what I want to say, it's not what I want to say every single time. And and Piers is just is just standing there, um, you know, completely focused on. Ex he knows exactly what he's saying back to him, and and like, so, you know, I thought it, it was a, it was a good scene to film. We started filming at about midnight as well, because uh, like, it was an incredibly long day. So it's a weird situation to be in. Someone's been trying to tell me something. Make it yours forever. No working on the forever part. <laughs>